Singer Adele initially said her Vegas residency was postponed because of a massive COVID outbreak mm -hmm. on her crew. And she also said she had some supply chain issues. But mm -hmm. rumor has it, multiple sources connected to Caesar's Palace claim the real reason the show is on ice is because Adele is unhappy with some of the set pieces and the sound system, and she felt they just weren't good enough. Now, the crew at Caesar's, who's been working hard um, trying to please her, was shocked when Adele canceled at the last minute. And this has caused major backlash with some of her fans. Yeah. Now, one ticket holder said, seriously, postpone if you need to. That's fine. But 28 hours before, I flew in this morning. Are you going to refund me my flight, hotel, and rapid COVID test that was mandatory? So what are your thoughts on this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so hard because just think about it. You're going to see somebody that you really love. You can't wait. You buy a ticket, you get the hotel, and then you find out 24 hours or 28 hours before. Um, I feel like it's a shame, but I've been seeing on social media that Adele has been calling people personally and doing FaceTimes okay. and saying, I'm really sorry, I right. promise, you know, I'll get it back together. But we don't know what the true story is. Is it, you know, that COVID, a lot of her people got COVID, or is it because of what's happening with for being unsatisfied. The reports the... are that there were rehearsals. Yeah. And she is not pleased with the rehearsals. Gotcha. Um, that she wanted a whole new sound system. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot that's happening. First of all, we know that Adele likes perfection. Because yes. remember at the Grammys, yes. when she stopped, it was a live show. She was like, I started on the wrong note. And stop oh. doing the live and said, we're going to start back over. Uh -huh. So, you know. Yeah, because um, she was honoring George Michael at the time. It was exactly. His, uh, yeah, she was and being she to was honor But, him. I mean, as a performer, Tommy, yeah. how do you feel, you know, about canceling at the last minute? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, so, so, sometimes that may come up, you know what I mean? But also, you know, we're performers and we're entertainers. And we want to do it at the highest level. Yeah. You know? yes. So if there's some internal stuff going on with your tech or stage, or you want to give the best performance. That's true. Yeah. You know, that's our our last performance is our last performance. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so we we have that in mind too. But Caesar's know? production, mm -hmm. and this is the reports that I yeah. read, they because they knew this was going to be mm -hmm. massive. They hired extra people, they, did. they hired right, right. dealers, mm -hmm. um, they, they were trying to work with her. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there is some definite disconnect right. between her team and the Caesars production. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel bad because like you said, Garcelle, in the end, mm -hmm. the people that suffer are the fans. People right, that flew, right. Right. bought a plane ticket. You don't Save their money. The right. Yes. These but concerts you know, to, are expensive but nowadays. But to say something to that is, is like we're in ambiguous times. Mm -hmm. You know, so these things are, are, are becoming commonplace because of yeah. the condition yeah. we're in. Yeah. You know what true. I mean? So we have to get ourselves conditioned to, to, to be conditioned. Yeah. There, to, anything is possible. Well, there is some expectations that things truth. can get canceled. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the, not cool. It's not cool the, to lie and right. say that something is the reason when that isn't the reason. But ultimately, I do think she has the right as a performer if she feels unsafe, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which we don't know if there's COVID, whatever that situation is. And furthermore, she also has the right on a level of her own artistry yeah. to say, I don't feel that this is the art that I want to present to my audience, to my fans. But, but these maybe, tickets were like at $15,000. That's what I was gonna say. Maybe say not 28 again. hours. $15,000 for a ticket. Money. At the same time, right, I was like, I can't afford to pay $15,000 to watch somebody in concert. So I was like, wait. I, at first I was like, oh my God, that's terrible, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, um, but if you could pay $15,000 for a concert, I think you're going to be all right. Okay. <laughs> Can but I, some people okay. save their money. Tommy? Mm -hmm. Can I find a way to charge $15,000? Okay. <laughs> Dave, I was like, wow. Wait, wait, Tommy, Tommy, before we go, we want to talk about this. Um, you have some exciting news to share yes, with us. Yes. The new season of The Proud Family is coming out. Right. So let's talk about it. Tommy, Tommy the Proud Family. Everybody get up. Go on. Snap down. Tommy <laughs> Brown. We are so it's proud back. of this. It's we got back. a clip. Can we show the clip? Because yeah, we love it. Please, It's back. Check it <laughs> out. Now hold it right there, young lady. Let me see what you got on. Oscar, haven't you embarrassed her enough? Oh, no, I'm just getting started. Our little girl is becoming a young lady. What no? I told you, Penny, no dating before you're married. Can we go in now? Yeah. Yes. 
and you should be very proud. The new season of The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, premieres mm -hmm. February 23rd, awesome. and new episodes Great. will de debut Wednesdays exclusively on Disney+. Plus.